What's up, Met fans? Welcome back. Talking Met to Rob. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, before I get started about Jackie Bradley Jr., don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like this video. And if you enjoy all my content, all my videos, guys, don't forget to press that subscribe button to get all my latest videos and notifications to my live streams. All right. Are the Mets and Jackie Bradley Jr. still a possibility? Is Jackie Br Bradley Jr. still on the Mets' radar? I believe so. Two reasons for that. Number one, Alvin O'Mora Jr. is not a starting center fielder. Defensively, yes. Offensively, absolutely not. And number two, Jackie Bradley Jr. is a better player than Alvin Amora Jr. Now, granted, Amora Jr. is younger. He probably could be better than Jackie Bradley Jr. defensively. But at the end of the day, he has not been very good. And Alvin Amora Jr. signing with the Mets shows that they are more focused on upgrading the third base position and starting pitching. And that leads to trades that can possibly go down, big trades that possibly can go down in the coming days, possibly probably before spring training. But when it comes back to Jackie Bradley Jr., the reason why he's still on the Mets radar is because Alvin Amora Jr. at best is a backup center fielder. And he will be backing up Brandon Nimmo if we do not get another center fielder such as Jackie Bradley Jr. Now, why do I say that? Because if you look at Alvin Omora Jr.'s stats, they are not that great. And we're going to look right now at the stats. Starting with 2018, 152 games, 479 play appearances, 444 at-bats, 5 home runs, 44, 41 RBIs, and he struck out 83 times and batted 286. The average is pretty decent. I get, I'll give him that. But if you look at if you're going to look at the next couple of years, you're going to see why I have a difficult time thinking he's a starting center fielder for the New York Mets. 2019, 25 years of age, 130 games, 339 at bats, 12 home runs, 32 RBIs, 62 strikeouts, batted 236. Not good at all. And when you look at 2020, again, I like to take it with a grain of salt when it comes to 2020 during the shortened season because of the pandemic. 26 years old, 28 games. One RBI, no home runs, nine strikeouts batted, 167. That is a terrible year. Again, take that with a grain of salt. The season was tough for many players. But at the end of the day, I don't trust Alvin Amora Jr. to be the starting center fielder over Nimmo when the season starts. Even though I don't believe Nimmo is a center fielder and a good center fielder, doesn't mean that I want Amora Jr., start in center field on opening day besides Brandon Nimmo. And then you have to take into the fact that Brandon Nimmo will probably have to play left field because he's a better defensive left fielder than Dominic Smith. But then you lose Dominic Smith back. The reason why I think Jackie Bradley Jr. can still be on the Metro radar is because potentially it seems like it's going down to the wire that Major League Baseball and the Players Association can agree on the DH rule. If the DH rule is put into effect for the 2021 season and beyond, I guarantee, and I have a, I say a 95% chance that Jackie Bradley Jr. will be a Met because you can guarantee him center field playing time and the starter. Alvin Amora Jr. can be the defensive replacements late in games on the bench, and he put Brandon Nimmo to left field, and Dominic Smith can be DH, or you can put Dominic Smith at first base. And Peter Alonzo DH in. Now, I like Alvin Amora Jr. defensively. That's the good thing. But we're looking at why Jackie Bradley Jr. can be on the Mets radar. And it's it relies heavily on the DH rule. And if it's going to be implemented in the 2021 season and beyond. And Jackie Bradley Jr. would be the perfect addition to this Mets team. Not only defensively is he one of the best defensive center fielders in the game. I think offensively, the last year and a half, he's been picking up offensively. And we're going to look at his stats right now. In 2017, he was 27 years old, 133 games. 
He batted 245, 124 strikeouts, 17 home runs, 63 RBIs. Now, granted, that was four years ago, but again, he's looking good. 2018, 28 years old, 144 games, 13 home runs, 59 RBIs, 137 strikeouts, 234. His average went down. In 2019, 147 games, 21 home runs, 62 RBIs. Everything improved. Now, his average did go down at 225. He had 155 strikeouts, which increased also. But at the end of the day, it's what I like to see when it comes to uh, home runs and RBIs. It was looking good like his all-star season in 2016. Now, his average has been going down. I'm not really great. I'm not happy about that. But his walks did go up. So he was seeing the ball better. And that helps also. But... Again, we're not looking for the best bat on this roster. We're looking for somebody who's very good defensively, but also can surprise you offensively. And I think Jackie Bradley Jr. can do that a lot more than Alvin Amora Jr. can do that, even though Amora Jr. is a few years older, younger than Jackie Bradley Jr. And when you go to 2020, you'll see 55 games, Seven home runs, batted 283. Very good season. 2020, take it with a grain of salt, but it seems like in 2019, he was finding his way. He was getting better. He seemed like he figured out some things uh, offensively. In 2020, it showed that whatever he was doing was working. So I think Jackie Bradley Jr. could be a part of this Mets team if the DH rule is implemented for the 2021 season. Jackie Bradley Jr., contract-wise, could it seemed like he's looking for around $15 million. That seems like a lot of money for JBJ. But at the end of the day, if you were willing to give $40 million to a mediocre, middle-of-the-road starting pitcher in Tr- Trevor Bauer, even though I was for getting Trevor Bauer, no matter what the money was, at the end of the day, if you were willing to give $40 million to a pitcher who is not one of the best in the game, then you can give Jackie Bradley Jr. $14, $15 million over a course of three to four years. And when it comes to Jackie Bradley Jr., I feel like he can, he'll be trending upwards since what he, what he has done the last year and a half. Now, again, the DH rule has a big situation and a big implementation and f- real decision-making when it comes to the Mets. If there's no DH rule, I don't think Jackie Bradley Jr. will be on this team. But let's hope that Major League Baseball and the Players Association Association can agree on this. And Major League Baseball can stop dragging their feet on this whole situation that is really affecting a lot of teams during this offseason because they do not know if there's going to be a DH. And National National League teams have a problem signing players or trading for players that they could possibly use in a DH role, but they can't do that unless they know the DH rule is in effect. So Jackie Bradley Jr. is still on the Mets radar only if the DH rule is implemented. I think they're monitoring the situation. And there's a reason why Jackie Bradley Jr. has not signed yet because his market is dwindling. Toronto Blue Jays clearly got George Springer. He would have been one of the, it would have been one of the big teams that would have been Hard going hard after Jackie Bradley Jr. There's not a lot of teams looking for a center fielder. So the Mets are in a prime position to hold wait a little bit until this DH rule is implemented or not implemented and really go into Jackie Bradley Jr. since they have all the cards right now. So when it comes to the Mets and Jackie Bradley Jr., I say yes, that they are on the Mets. He is on the Mets radar still if the DH rule goes into effect for the 21 season. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, please like this video. Don't forget, press that like button, guys. And if you enjoy my video, want to see more, want to get notifications for all the live streams and the videos I post, hit that subscribe button, everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, let's go Mets.